Good morning, myself Ashish A. Desai, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Department. I am presenting how to use RS Logic 400 for industry problems. So, today we discuss these three problems regarding the automatic mixing process, thermal processing of metal by using PLC, and third is the automatic car barrier. So, in first problem, this is the automatic mixing process. So, so the description is given to you. So, in that figure, there are different sensor that is ls1 and ls2 is the level sensor which is identifying the levels of liquid and this va1 va2 and this va3 is for valves these three valves is there and this one is a motor and agitator for mixing of these two liquids so this is the mixing tank with all the necessary equipments or can say necessary devices so when open v1 is there until level 1 reaches so level 1 means it is reaches up to ls2 so when the start button is pressed va1 will start and it reaches to level of ls2 then va1 stops and va2 will starts so this is va2 so when the level of liquid reaches to the ls1 that is level sensor 1 then stops the VA2 and because of this LS1 the motor and agitator or you can say that mixer will be starts so it is for one minute so it is given to you so after one minute the next output that is VA3 will starts and this VA3 starts for two minutes and then the fall VA3 will stops and then repeat the process for the mixing so this is the description given to you now we discuss and separatizing the input modules and output modules so normally sensors and switches we consider as a inputs and output will be motor pump and valves will be there so first of all we segregate the input and output modules so in input modules i will collect first the start and stop button because start button is required for any system on so that's why we take a start button and stop button is required for emergency stops so if it is required emergency we can stop button is pressed on all the system will stop so that's why we are taking as a start and stop button and the sensor that is ls2 and ls1 is the two sensors we can consider as inputs so i named as or i can say addressed as i double dot zero slash one is for start button I double to switch 2 stop button I double to switch 3 limit switch 2 so this is limit switch 2 and I double dot 0 slash 4 limit switch 1 so these are the inputs now we discuss regarding the output so here output is VA1 VA2 VA3 and this motor so all VA1 you can say as a I double V O double dot 0 slash 1 VA2 O double dot 0 slash 2 and motor and agitator for O double dot 0 slash 3 and wall VA3 that is O double dot 0 slash 4 so these are the output modules now we first this we first move for this diagram so these are the input modules and output modules so this diagram will explain about this walls and motors so first of all the constructing ladder we draw first two vertical lines and the input is on input is on left hand side and output is on right hand side so first of all we discuss this first terms so when start button is pressed so here clearly mentioned that start button is pressed va1 is the start so va1 is the start so that's why i can write the i double dash dash one that is start button is pressed O double dash dash one is start that is wall VA1 will be starts. So here wall is present that's why I have provided a latch to the system so that's why I can take as a reference over here because R double dash dash one is a momentary switch so that's why I provide a latch to the this wall VA1. Now because of top button its system will stop so that's why I put the normally close contact so when it is pressed this power will be cut off and the wave and will be stops so this is why the i double to 0 slash 2 is put up over here 
now the wall va1 is stop automatically so whenever the the system starts automatically the system will stop so that's why the we have put up the limit switch so here the limit switch 2 is activated and va1 will be stopped so that's why the limit switch 2 is for i double dose duration 3 so this will be stops so i can take as a normally close contacts so when normally close contact will be on or energized the output will be stops so this is the fulfill the condition for first run now we start the va2 so that's why uh, we do go for next round so now this limit switch 2 has taken as a reference for starting the wall va2 so when i about just stress 3 that is the limit switch 2 take as a reference and start the output that is va2 so after it reaches so after it reaches to ls1 so ls1 is the symbol of i double dose resistance 4 so it can stops the output and then we go for third output that is motor negator so because of this sensor this ls1 we can take as a reference over here and start the output so this output is here mentioned clearly that it is for one second or sorry one minute so one minute means what here we can take 60 seconds so i can take a turn timer because after 10 60 seconds it stops so turn timer is there so whenever it energize output will be on after delaying the time so after 60 seconds the output will be stops so that's why i can take t4s21 done and then output will be stops so now we can take as a reference over here that is t4s21 done and starts the wall va3 because we are taking a reference the irregular intervals so i can write rt double rest 4 double rest 1 slash dn the output will start that is wall v3 will starts and this is for how much time this is for two minutes so after two minutes the output will stop so that's why i can take as a 120 seconds in a preset time so after 120 seconds the done will activates because this is timer turn and then this stops the output number four again it mentioned here this process will be repeat or end of the mixing process so repeat process that means it again and again it will starts so that's why i can take as a reference for t4s21 slash done i can write over here and because of that it can throw the current in regular interval and output will starts so whenever this bit will be activated that is t4s2 done this output will be that four number stops and starts the output first so this process again and again will be flow in a manner so that is the process this is the process and this runs will satisfy all the conditions now we move for the rs logic 400 so rs logic 400 that is we can start here and according to your machine we can select that series a or series b so i select here series b and then we go for construction of this ladder so first of all we take as a la that latch so i can take ladder latch here so here two normally close contact is there so i can take normally close contacts then next is the output so this is the output so i can take output over here then next line this the output is energized after some time that's why this this latch is also required so i can take as a latch again or i can take here then you can name as here i double dot zero slash one this is the start button you can take 
okay then next we can take stop button so take i double dot zero slash two this is for stop button now we take as a input that is limit switch two so that's why i double dot zero slash three so this is the limit switch so limit switch two is for identifying the levels so the next output that is output is o double dot zero slash one this is the wall so this is wall v a one v a one sorry v a one so one v a one is there so all v a one is there sorry so all v a one is there okay so because of this wall v a one is placed there so that's why i can take a latch so i can copy it over here and paste for and the latch side now here it written as a t forest the two so i can write here so t forest two, two slash done so this is timer second because here clearly mentioned that second timer is there second timer is there t four is to two two means second timer so t four is to two is the syntax so t stands for file type and four stands for timer of file number so and the two is the timer number so this is the t four is to two so because of the t four is to two starts the output again so this is the first run so second runs so I can check the second round. It is providing a latch. Then this normal close contact and output. So I can first take the latch. Then this normally open contacts. So normally open contacts. And then this is the close contact. And then output is there. So we can take reference for this one. I can take reference directly over here. This is number switch two. And this is the number three. So number three is there, right? R double zero three. And then I can put as a R double zero slash four. So here I can put the value here R double dot zero slash four. So this is the first what is, this is the limit switch two. Sorry, limit switch one. Yes, okay. And this is the second output. So I can take O double dot zero slash two. This is wall over V A two. Yes, okay here. So this is momentary switch is there. So that's why continuous flow is required. So I can take directly as a reference for that so this is regarding the second run so i can add third run and fourth run so in third run again it provide a latch right so again provide latch and timer so latch is there so this is the latch normally open contact you can place to sorry normally open contact is there so you can put normally open contact then next this normally closed contact then placed here the first that is third output and then you can put it as a timer so here timer is placed for 60 seconds so i can take 60 seconds so timer turn can placed over here right so first of all we given names or I can address coffee here because we take reference for starting a next output. So this is third output O 
double dot zero slash three. So this is the motor and aggregator. You can say aggregator. Then next, so this is the continuous supply of flow is there, current flow is there. So I can take as a reference for here, right? So and then next, so this is the timer. So when this is T4 is to one, so this is first timer. So I can write timer one. Then one second we can take elapse, and then preset timing is preset timing is. 60 seconds that means one minute so after 60 seconds it matches with accumulator value then done mode activates and stops the stops that's why i can take as a normally close contact so this is done bit so this is timer one okay so this is regarding the third rung then next for fourth rung so fourth rung we can take as a this latch circuit again and then one timer is placed over there so again you can enter into user then new latch then we can take a zone to normally open contacts then normally close contacts then one output is there right so this is one output and then timer so timer we can add over here so timer ton is there so we can place it over here so then because of this bit wall v3 will starts so i can write here so o double dot zero slash four so this is fourth output that is v a so that is v wall work v a 3 right okay so after this t4 is to 2 again you can take that timer to name and then lapsing time is same the so preset time so preset time it is for actually it is even that 120 sorry 2 minute that means what you can take a value is 1 20 so this is the so after completion of value of 120 in accumulator then done bit activates and stops the stop the timer and then the wall v v4 is there so wall means continuous supply of current is there so then i take to the four then you go for verification so here verify as completed no errors found so then we go for save so save this is mixing problem so mixing of liquid so save it then next goes for we move for next slide so in the next slide we know that the thermal processing of metal by using plc so actually thermal process means what so we, you have to hardening the metal and hardening the metal and dispatch for the further use so here we have to know the thermal processing of metals the machine hardens the metal in a shape of steel ring the hardening process is done by heating the steel ring so it is heating it takes place at a high temperature and then it goes to sudden cooling sudden cooling so the piece we want to harden the heated by passing high currents through the coil so heat generates the hardness and we cool the quickly by sending the cold water through the holes in each sides so now the process i can summarize here like this when the push button so here actually the push button that is a remote for on and off for the systems so whenever the system will starts we require on and off buttons so when your system on after that we press the left and right button at the same time then and then only 
there will be solenoid wall ups so this is the solenoid wall ups so solenoid wall ups means what there's mandrel will goes to the upper side so it goes upper side okay so when it is goes upper side the left button right button is on as well as system is on right then it goes upper side so this is the first condition then the heating will be takes place up to 10 seconds so heating will be takes place up to 10 seconds so after that the this mandrel reaches to the lsu then this process will starts and the heating takes place for we consider for 10 seconds so 10 seconds so after 10 seconds i again take as a reference for this 10 seconds and quenching spray will be starts so this is also for 10 seconds and then the wall goes down so this is the process for thermal processing of metals so here i clearly mentioned there so here i clearly mentioned that system is on then we press the left and right button then second output that is solenoid wall up and it reaches to the up to the limit of lsu that is limit switch upper so upper limit switch is there so when it reaches then and then only the heating coil will start and it is for only 10 seconds so after 10 seconds the quenching spray of water is is the spray for 10 seconds and after that it should release and this mandrel goes down so this is the functions so here sorry i separatize the input output models so system on solenoid up and heating coil and quenching spray so these are the output so i write it as a output so here four output is there so four output means first is a solenoid sorry system on second is a up solenoid wall third is a heating coil heating coil and fourth one is a quenching spray so for that purpose we require number of input and output models so so first of all we start the system so that's why on and off button is required so i double to slash one system on i double to zero slash two system off similarly we see here two left and right buttons so here up and down so here two out buttons there so whenever the left stop and right stop can place left start and right start we can place so here i am mentioning the number of input output ports then next this lspp so what here the function is lspp means part in place so whenever the part in place then and then only the solenoid wall ups then next this limit switch up so here lsu is there that's called that is a limit switch up so after limit switch up the next process that is heating coil and quenching spray will starts so this is regarding the input so i am addressing properly that is for start i can use i double double slash one system stop i double double slash two left stop zero slash three left start zero slash four stop i double double slash five right start zero zero i double zero slash six lspp that is part in place and limit switch up so here limit switch up so this the process we followed for the plc so now we move for plc diagram so when start button is there so it is clearly mentioned that start button is there then system will be on so i can play start button and then system will be on but here the continuous flow of current is there so i can provide a latch and because of that i can take a reference as same as it of so here same reference that is o double zero slash one i can write o double zero slash one so this is the first output energize and now here for system stop so system stop it requires a stop button so whenever the emergency is there we can press it so all system will be off right so now we take as a reference for system on so i can write system on is reference as well as the operator as ensure for this operation 
so here the place is place the left start and right start then and then only the output will be on so that output means left start right start and this lspp so lspp that is part in place so again i repeat here the left start right start and lspp is on then and then only the solid wall goes up right so here i can provide a latch because it is required continuous supply so i can write here solid up value so this timer 3 i will explain later on so this lspp left start right start current flows this point to this end that is up to side up so this takes place upper side so it is placed in a ls up to the lsu right so solenoid wall up and lsu when it is on sorry so when it is on this sorry so when lspp left start and right start is on the solenoid up sorry so after that solenoid up it will cause this so solid wall up it causes so when we are pressing the left stop and right stop then and only the mandle goes out so mandle goes down so mandle goes down now next we can take as a reference over here because we are starting next operations so next operation is eating for coil for 13 seconds so solid wall up we can write over here and because of that the heating coil will be takes place so heating coil takes place and i can attach a timer that is done because it is start for 10 seconds so i can assume here 10 seconds is a period for after 10 seconds is a period for starting the heating coils so whenever start button is pressed sorry so whenever this terminal up starts heating will be starts so we for that purpose lsu is also activated and therefore lsu and external whenever it is on then and then only heating coil will be on so i can attach your timer over here and because of this timer this timer after completion of 10 seconds in accumulator so this will be stops and this stops you can take as a reference over here and this starts the next operation that is quenching so this also for we keep in adjust some second that is 10 seconds so when 10 seconds completed the wall that is quenching wall which stops now we can take the difference of timer 2 for timer 3 and this timer 3 we can attach to the latch side because process is required to continuous one so that's why for repeating the purpose we can add this timer to this point and therefore this latch and if it is timer 3 is on there and then only the current flows and then the solenoid wall again so this is the continuous process for the thermal processing units so before that i'm going to this slide also again because so lsu is for confirmation of mandrel and lspp is we have placed a part place then and only it goes upward side and here when we are releasing this wall that is solenoid wall so because of the gravity it goes down so this is the speciality so that's why whenever the lose the contact of left stop and dead stop the solenoid wall goes down so this is the condition so this is the block sorry ladder diagram by using our logic rs logic pointer now we move for next slide that is automatic car park barrier system so nowadays the automatic car park barrier is required because the population and number of reasons is there so acceleration problem is there so that's why we are keeping a in the mind so automatic park barrier operation is there so here there are two gate that is this gate is called as entrance gate and this gate is called as exit exit gate so when entrance gate is there we have placed this coin box sensor so when placing this coin so when you placing this coin the this bar or can say opening gate will be on right when placing the coin 
so initially we place the coin and then it goes to the or you can say it should open so when it is open it reaches to the ls1 so here it goes to the ls1 then this this gate it is for 10 seconds we can say consider as a 10 second so after 10 seconds in between 10 seconds your car will park inside this okay so after that after that after 10 seconds this wall will release this so here there are two walls that is wall va1 so i mention here wall a that is and wall b so here i mention here wall b so this is the ls1 sensor and this is ls2 sensor so first of all we discuss this entrance gate and then we go for exit gate so both are the same but quite sim quite different quite different operation is there so first of all we place coin the wall va1 wall va activates and this will goes upper side and this tick or can say this gate will strikes on ls1 and because of this ls1 timer will starts and after 10 seconds so after 10 seconds it release it release and this timer which help for opening sorry the starting the wall b so this whenever it goes down the because of this wall b the gate will be closed down so for that purpose first of all we construct in this diagram so here the normally open button is there so when you can insert the button or case okay, we can insert the coin so this is the coin switch you can add the starts wall a so here wall a this is all a starts means the it goes the gate upper side right so when goes upper side it strikes to the ls1 and then wall v1 stops so that's why you can insert here wall a here that is output and because of this ls1 the timer will starts so after completion of 10 seconds the car will be goes upper side so that's why i can place after 10 seconds that's why timer turn delay is used over here so that is the clear picture is there when coin is placed up, wall va starts right so while va starts means what the this wall goes upper side and it strikes to the ls1 so when ls1 goes that side so this it's for 10 seconds so for that purpose we can place a timer so whenever strikes to the ls1 activate the timer so after 10 seconds it stops the wall a and starts the this timer stops the stops the wall a and starts the wall b so when starts the wall b so wall b so it goes down so it reaches to the level of ls2 so timer one starts wall b is there so that switch will be stops over here so whenever wall b will be activated the wall a will be stops so that's why i can place a normal close contact so whenever wall a is activation wall b will be closed so this is the ex this is the entrance barrier so this is related with entrance barrier similarly we discussed the exit barrier so first the car will be approached at exit side whenever the it reaches to this point automatically the gate will be open so because of wall c it goes upper side so that's upper side so wall c will be activated and the wall lifted the gate and when it is reaches to the ls3 the ls3 then the timer will starts for the car will be goes to the exit barrier so after 10 seconds after 10 seconds the wall d will be activated and similarly 
the it is stopped by ls4 so this is the conditions so it is just similar for a while applying a b walls so applying for c and d in a same manner so when the car will be goes to the exit barrier that detection sensor is there so that is why car detection sensor will sense it and wall c will be actuated so here clearly mentioned that wall c will be actuated so wall c is there so continuous flow is there so that's why i can provide a latch and so the reference will be same and then because of that wall c actuations the it reaches to the ls3 so ls3 activates and the timer second so here first is user so that i can use t4 is to 2 for 10 seconds so after 10 seconds this bit closes the wall c and this bit opens the wall d right so wall d can operate it so after that wall d wall d the ls4 that is ls4 switch will be activated and then stop the wall d so in whenever the wall d activates wall c will be c will be off so that's why nc button can insert over here whenever wall c is activation wall d will be in a off position that's why it is in a normally close contact so this is related with car detection or can say automatic car barriers park barrier system so this is the rls logic standard software we can consider this diagram thank you